everyone. My name is Phu and I'm a teacher at Bingo Leaders. Uh, I graduated with distinction from University of Languages and International Studies. Not long before that, I completed my internship as an ESL teacher for children aged from 6 to 15 at Wat Wang School in Thailand. First of all, I love children and I love working with them. I hope that I can help them gain confidence in communicating well in English. Secondly, lectures are delivered through online learning platforms with a one-on-one -on -one teaching model or a maximum of four students in a class so they can have more time to interact and practice with a teacher that is much more effective than teaching a class with many students. Parents are also the ones who benefit from the flexibility of online learning because they can arrange time according to their schedule and save a lot of travel time. Well, I'm teaching a student who is living in Taiwan. He's eight and he's very good and studious. In some very first lessons, he was still a little shy to speak, but then he has become like uh, more and more interested in our lessons. Sometimes he told his mom that, Mom, I like this teacher more and more day by day. And when I heard this from his mom, I was filled with joy and satisfaction. This also motivates me to study, to improve on my skills and knowledge so that I can help and assist more students in learning English. Children are in stages of brain and language development, so learning English at school may not be enough for them. Parents should expose their children to English even at home. So, how should your children learn English at home effectively? Let's find out together. Number one, have the children listening to English songs and stories. Listening to English songs and stories will benefit your children's listening skills, hence their pronunciation and more natural intonation. Actually, children do not have to sit still while listening. Instead, parents can play songs and stories while their children are playing and not fully paying attention. It's called passive listening. Number two, learn English vocabulary through pictures. This method of learning new words is very practical and effective. And it's even better if parents can relate the words to real things, objects. For example, uh, animals, things in the house, and so on. However, when introducing a new word, parents should not explain them in their mother tongue. For example, point at an apple and say apple, apple, apple instead of saying apple là quả táo nhá. No, this helps avoid the process of translation in the children's mind when they're speaking. Come and join us at Bingo Leaders today.